MobiLink is the single interface for the major process automation protocols, Hard, Foundation Fieldbus, and Profibus PA. Easily connect with either USB or Bluetooth to commission, parameterize, or maintain field devices. In this tutorial, you will see how to use your MobiLink interface with Foundation Fieldbus field devices for monitoring and parameterization. As a first step, you need to install an engineering tool like Packware. This is a free of charge, device independent software program that communicates with all approved DTMs. Install the MobiLink DTM. In this case, we do so from the provided application software. Alternatively, you can download the DTM software from our Softing website. Click on the Start icon and select your language. Click on the installation of the MobiLink software. Here, you have the ability to install different software. The first one is a DD-based configuration tool, which is used for Foundation Fieldbus applications. This software can be used for advanced FF applications by using function blocks. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, the software is not required. The third link is the Packware tool, an engineering tool for your asset management, and the last two links are for the purpose of installing the MobiLink DTM. By installing the MobiLink device DTM, you automatically install the communication DTMs for Profibus PA, Foundation Fieldbus, and Hard Protocols. The hard communication DTM is activated by default. No license key is required. However, for Foundation Fieldbus and Profibus PA, the license is required to communicate with the field devices. Several options are possible. You can order a bundle with all three protocols or buy the registration key separately. Now click on Install MobiLink DTM and install the MobiLink device DTM. You will now be able to select the specific communication DTM of the MobiLink. As MobiLink is an interface for HART, Foundation Fieldbus and Profibus PA applications, you can find all the three DTMs in the All Device section under Softing Industrial Automation in your device catalog. Now, connect the MobiLink. There are two ways to do so. You can connect the MobiLink with your PC using a USB cable and it will automatically be recognized by your system. Or you can connect the MobiLink to your system via Bluetooth by activating the pairing mode of the MobiLink. To do so, turn on the MobiLink device and press the Bluetooth button for around 3 seconds. Once the MobiLink is connected to your PC, select the correct communication DTM in the device catalog. In this case, the MobiLink interface is connected to Foundation Fieldbus field devices. Select the MobiLink FF DTM and drag it into your project. After selecting the FF DTM, you will notice the symbol, which indicates that the connection has not yet been established. Click on the Connect icon to establish a connection. Once the connection has been established, the icon box will turn green. Launch the License Manager and enter the License Key. Enter the License Key for MobiLink Com DTM FF, which you have received together with your MobiLink order. The License Key can be used either for one PC or in USB dongle for multiple PCs. Search for connected FF field devices. In order for the MobiLink to identify the field devices, it is required to include the device DTMs in your device catalog. Two devices are used in our topology, one radar sensor from Vega and one temperature sensor from Rosemont. In this case, both device DTMs have already been downloaded from the manufacturer's websites. In order to search for field devices, right-click on the MobiLink FF in the project window. Go to Additional Functions and select Show Life List. This will show all the devices connected to your MobiLink interface between the node addresses from 16 to 
5, which is the default range for FF field devices. Click on Start. The MobiLink will find all the FF field devices connected to the Foundation Field Bus bus. Please notice that the node addresses here have been previously set up by the host application in order to exchange process data between the primary master and the field devices. Once the field devices in your network have been identified, include the device DTMs in your project. Click on the device catalog in the right corner of the screen and select the 848T field device from the Rosemont catalog. Please pay attention to the several revisions of the DTMs. This information about the current revision is stated on the label of your device or the accompanying device documentation. In this case, it is 848T revision 7, which we select and include in the project. Similarly, we open the catalog to search for the Vega Plus 62 field device. You can here notice that the Vega Plus 62 device supports all three protocols. Please select the corresponding FFDTM and drag it to MobiLink FF inside the project window. We have now defined your existing project with all existing FF field devices. You now need to correctly configure the DTM addresses of the engineering tool. When these devices are included in the project, they receive a default DTM address. It is required that the DTM addresses of the devices match with the FF node addresses. To change these addresses, disconnect the MobiLink interface, since the changes to the setting must be done offline. Right-click on MobiLink FF and under Additional Functions, select Edit DTM Addresses. You can go back to the live list to check the correct node address. For the Rosemont temperature sensor, the correct node address is 20. Go back to Edit DTM Address and change the address by entering it into the node address. Do the same for all the connected devices. Now you are set up to communicate with the field devices via the MobiLink interface. Select one of them and click on a Connect button. The MobiLink will now start communicating with field devices and will receive the current status data. MobiLink constantly exchanges data with the field devices over the Foundation Field Bus bus. The design of the DTM is vendor specific and cannot be modified by the user, hence the appearance of the field device interface will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. We can now perform live monitoring. The Vega radar sensor displays the real-time filling height on the bottom left. Depending on your application, you can modify the parameters of your field device. In our case, you specified installation conditions. Finally, you can access basic diagnostics with regards to the current status of your field device. The temperature sensor device DTM from Rosemont offers you similar features. You can read the current status of your sensors and perform diagnostics. This concludes the FF device connection with MobiLink. Further information can be found on our website industrial.softing.com. Thank you for your attention.